What is up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Mr. Make Life Happen. Hope everyone is having a super blessed day because life is so good. Today I want to talk about Gigi. If you watched my last video, The Creator, you know that Gigi is my brand new puppy. Um, I will bring her back a little bit um, towards the end of the video, but for now I want to uh, elaborate on some of the uh, techniques, uh, some of the steps, and um, the bridge of incidents that I crossed or the events that I crossed that led me to have her appear in my um, physical appearance or in my screen of space as Neville Goddard calls it. In order to manifest in your human experience, you have to impress your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind, this is the immortal mind and this is where all things are created. This is the origin of all things. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. And this is why imagination creates all reality because imagination is spiritual sensation. And when you imagine, you impress the subconscious mind. And remember, where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. Where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. Scripting is a great way to impress the subconscious mind as we know that all things are first impressed in the mind before they become a reality. And you can try this for yourself and test it. And then, and then um, therefore, you will know that what I'm teaching is the truth. There's many out there, many people out there will condemn um, that imagination does not create reality. But from my personal experience, I know that it does create a re reality and your imagination will always create your reality. So try this for yourself and prove it to yourself and test yourself to see if your imagination is truly creating your reality. What I did is I wrote down 10 specific things that I wanted to manifest, uh, my specific desires, um, about three years ago, so in 2017, uh, maybe towards the end of the year, so uh, probably, probably about two and a half years ago, and um, as time went on, I did add some things um, and I did, you know, change some things because as we grow, our desires change. What I did is I wrote down 10 specific things the, that I desired about three years ago in 2017, um, towards the end of the year. So maybe more about uh, two and a half years ago. And as time went on, I did change some things and I added some and I took some away because as we grow, our desires change. But manifesting a puppy was one of the things that was actually on my list. So to be specific, what I did is I wrote down, I'm so grateful for my new puppy. It is uh, fun, loving, and very, uh, very well trained. And that's all I wrote down. So I wrote down my list every single night um, along with my other desires, but I wanna focus on just the puppy. So what I did is I wrote down my list every single night to the point to where I actually memorized my list. So occasionally, what I would do is I would actually just dwell on a feeling um, right before bed, just pick out something from my list. So if I were to pick out um, the puppy from my desires list, what I would do is I would just walk around um, the house and just imagine that this puppy is following me around. Uh, maybe I'm petting the puppy. Uh, maybe teaching it some tricks. But I did it to the point to where um, it actually just felt real. I would just, um, I could kind of reflect on the um, on my imaginal scene and I would automatically feel as if the puppy was here with me. So if you guys heard me say often, feeling is the secret. Feeling um, helps you to really impress your subconscious mind. Um, so for example, uh, have you ever smelled a scent or um, you smelled something and it automatically took you back to that place mentally when you, uh, where you once smelled it? Or how about hearing a song, a, a certain song from a long time ago? Maybe you were um, having a really good time in this time in your life and you heard the song and every time you hear it, it takes you back to that emotional attachment that you had to when you heard the song. And this is because feeling is the secret. And whenever you feel yourself to have your desire, you actually begin to um, impress your subconscious mind 
and your subconscious mind will take you towards your desires because where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. Where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. Whenever you write down your desires and all the things that you want, you're actually saying the you're actually saying the things out loud in your head. Um, you you can actually see them, and before your before your pen even touches the piece of paper, you're creating an image of before you're about to write. Um, we have um, the gifts of speech and mind, and speech is the image of your mind. So before you even wrote down anything. Your, your, uh, the image was created in your mind first. And when you purposely and deliberately start to um, impress your subconscious, it helps you to dwell on the feeling of your list. And this is when the magic happens. So focus on writing your list and um, allow it to help you to, um, to dwell on the feelings because feeling is the secret. And whenever you feel this, you impress it on your mind, and this is when all things are possible. So if someone gave you $50,000 right now, how would you feel? That feeling, that feeling right there, that is the secret to manifesting. As you believe, it is done unto you. So when you start to use your list to deliberately impress your mind, your feelings begin to change. And then once your feelings change, it is a done deal. Without writing this down, close your eyes and imagine a baby smiling at you. Imagine that you're holding a baby and it is smiling at you. And dwell on the feeling of this image and see what happens. You begin to smile too because it feels real. Now take um, a lemon, cut this lemon and take a bite out of it. What happens? Your mouth becomes watery. And this is because we are spiritual beings and imagination is spiritual sensation. This is how all things are created, with your own wonderful human imagination. After writing my list over and over and over, I started to get some amazing results. My puppy came years later, but I realized that everything happened right on time. Um, after a while, um, I still wanted the puppy, but um, I didn't have a huge desire for it. Um, or you can say I didn't um, have a lot of resistance to receiving the puppy because I started to receive things on my list and I knew things would unfold in its own way, in its own organic way. So a few months ago, um, several months ago, I actually got on Facebook. Um, check out my Facebook link in my about section. And I got on there and I seen um, a picture of some puppies. So um, the person that had the puppies had actually asked a friend, which is the one of my friends list to post the puppy, um, just to see if anybody wanted them. So I knew right away which one I wanted and um, I, I messaged her and I wanted to get some uh, information. So she gave me the woman's number and I sent her a message and I told her, hey, this is the one I want on the bottom right. And she told me that another couple had actually um, claimed the puppy, but they they were uh, they would know for sure within 48 hours and that she would let me know. But once she told me that somebody else had claimed the puppy that I wanted, I said, okay, just let me know if it doesn't work out and I'll pick out another one. So um, right after I got done texting her, I briefly imagined that she says, uh, she's all yours and then I dropped it, I let it go. So two days go by and I didn't hear anything. Um, so I reached out again as I was excited to get the puppy. So um, she said she had been busy and she meant to reach out, but she told me that the other couple said it wasn't gonna work out for them and uh, it was she was all mine. So once the vet um, gave her the okay to go home, uh, for, the, for her to go to her new home, then she would be all mine. So what happened was, um, even though she, t uh, she told me that I couldn't have her, um, what I did is I actually imagined the opposite that she said that I could. And it actually turned out that it didn't work out for the other people. And now I have her here with me. So, so I actually have her now. Um, this is uh, week five that I've had her. Um, she's fun, she's loving, and slowly but surely uh, getting well-trained 
and I will actually share her journey, um, funny moments, uh, fun moments on her own um, actual YouTube at my princessa Gigi. I will post a link in the description below so you guys be sure to check that out. Everything that I wrote down has and it still manifested. Some things happened instantly, some things uh, took years as manifesting Gigi and some things that are still manifesting. When you actually start writing down your goals and um, your desires and purposely um, dwell on them um, with the feeling that you get by writing them down, you actually manifest specific things that you want. I mean, things will happen so organically that you think they were going to happen anyways. But write down your list so you can keep up with um, your desires as they manifest and you can reflect on the fact that you are the creator of your life and that things manifest when you dwell on the feeling of having your wish fulfilled. Even if it takes 500,000 people to bring forth your desire, it will happen. Nothing that, nothing that I'm telling you matters until you actually practice this, uh, until you actually practice this in your life and apply this practical scripting technique and actually experience it for yourself. You can't disprove what is being taught until you actually put it to practice. And when you do, you will start to manifest things and you will understand how creation works. And um, you will have some of those questions answered that you've always wanted to know along the way of your creation process. I'm not saying that you're gonna become rich just because you heard this. Um, if you want to have wealth and become rich, you can have it but you must be a doer and not just a hearer. So if you want to be wealthy, you must dwell on the feeling of it. You can't um, want to be wealthy and minutes later, you dwell on the feeling of lack. You must dwell on the feeling of wealth. What would it feel like if you were to be wealthy? That is the secret. Whatever you desire, dwell on that feeling. Live in the end as if you already had it. Whatever um, it is that you desire, whether it's um, health, um, relationship, um, a reliable tra car, transportation, um, maybe um, family, love, um, a job, a personal business, freedom, peace. Whatever it is that you desire, write it down in first person every single night you will be led across a series of events that will take you to fulfill your desires, as I did with Gigi. When I first um, got her, I was thinking, man, what am I supposed to do about this? What am I supposed to do about this? I had so many questions. But all along, um, I have a friend, and she knows all about dog, and she has helped me out tremendously. So everything, everything is working out so well. And thank you so much for that. You know who you are. But when, once you write down your goals and you have a specific desire and you, uh, you have clarity, write it down and you will be led across a series of events. And it will be so organically that you will not be able to realize that you created this. You will look back and say, well, it was going to happen anyways. And this is why it's very important to keep track of your list. Um, and this will actually help you to manifest faster because you will actually um, have a, um, a better confidence within yourself. You will be able to start to believe in yourself. And this is when the magic happens. Whenever you have a specific desire for something, the universe always delivers. Um, I didn't think I was going to get this much support um, along the process of raising the puppy, but I got, I'm getting uh, a tremendous amount of help lots of recommendations and some awesome advice. And what I realized was that things don't always happen the way we want to. And it, uh, sometimes um, we get something even better, um, something for our highest good. So try this out, uh, make a list of 10 things specifically that you want in first person. Write them down every single night, right before you go to bed, and just pick out one item every night, maybe um, for three nights in a row, and imagine something on your list. Um, imagine um, yourself having it in first person. What would it feel like if your wish were to be fulfilled? So focus on this, uh, make your list. Once you start to manifest things, uh, drop a comment below and um, 
encourage others to um, change their life from uh, a state that they don't desire to a more fulfilling state that they desire. Say hi, Gigi. Say hi, Gigi. Say hi, Gigi. You been a good girl? 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 <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for my next video, my daily manifesting techniques. My daily manifesting techniques. And I will talk about um, all the things that I do from when I first wake up until I go to bed. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon, go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.